Honda, Toyota, Mazda, Chrysler, Ford, and General Motors are some of the companies victimized in a scheme to drive up the cost of auto parts. The Justice Department says auto parts manufacturers targeted more than 30 different products, from windshield wipers to bearings, compressors, and alternators. Attorney General Eric Holder says the scheme lasted several years and impacted more than $5 billion in auto parts sold in the U.S., as well as more than 25 million cars. As a result of these conspiracies, Americans paid more for their cars. The Justice Department says nine Japanese-based companies and two individuals have agreed to plead guilty to conspiracy charges and pay more than $740 million in fines. One of the 11 complaints filed today accused a former executive of rigging bids to fix, stabilize, and maintain the prices of seatbelts. We will continue to check under every hood and kick every tire to make sure that we put an end to this illegal and destructive Conduct. Exactly how much these schemes impact individual vehicle prices is hard to tell. It does cut down on competition. It does ultimately hurt the bottom line. Two consequences the federal government isn't tolerating. To date, 20 companies and 21 executives have been charged in this ongoing conspiracy investigation. In Washington, I'm Danielle Lee, NBC News.